Does anybody else want to see a Lego crocodile get turned into sushi? I know I do. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and welcome back to more amazing Lego cooking creations from none other than the Lego cooking channel on YouTube. Definitely go check them out. Link in the description down below. It's just so cool. I don't know why you're here. What, what's that guy's name? Bloxy or something? I don't know. You're from Poppy Playtime. Well, the, like, multiplayer Poppy Playtime game. We got some kind of weird Lego siren head asking for pizza. All right, we'll make some Lego pizza. I think this is a specifically a deep dish. Yes, a deep dish Lego pizza, which, uh, you know, I mean, I prefer New York style pizza. I don't want to say anything too controversial here. I do prefer the like thin, like slightly burnt crust. Oh my gosh, it's so good, it's making my mouth water. But that said, a uh, uh, Chicago style deep dish pizza goes pretty, pretty good sometimes. I, I do have to say, and that is some fresh uh, pepperoni. Okay, <laughs> don't, don't, probably don't play with matches. Just turn those matches into, into peas? You put peas on a pizza, huh? I don't think I've ever had peas on a pizza. I don't even know what those are. They look like blueberries. Don't put blueberries on your pizza. Maybe they're olives. They are blue though. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are so hungry. Now they're dead. No, they're fine. That was very fast. Oh, this is the this is the part. Yes, I love how they make the Lego look like it's kind of like melted cheese. Oh, it's so good. Three hundred dollars? Dang, it's an expensive pizza. Dogs. The dogs got into the 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 flour or the I don't know. They're in dog jail now. What? Hmm? Oh. Oh, <laughs> no, they ate your KFC. No. Those bones just turned back into chickens. That's incredible. I love the world of Lego. It makes no sense, but it makes all the sense at the same time. What are we doing? We're, we're making more KFC. How do you make KFC in your house? I just, you know, you got to have the recipe. The, what is it? 11 herbs and spices? Is it 11? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not 11. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this, uh, but the official KFC Twitter account actually follows the Spice Girls, five Spice Girls, and then six random dudes <laughs> named Herb. Therefore, they follow 11 herbs and spices. It's actually pretty funny. Um, that that's that's pretty great. Anyways, uh, that's how I remember that their their secret recipe is 11 herbs and spices because of the Spice Girls. Go figure. Sardines. Oh, we're making like a little uh, bento box. I like it for the dogs. All right, you guys. Yeah, you get that, and then. Your owner gets KFC, homemade KFC, which is very impressive. Eat up. Dang, man, th this dude eats very fast. All right, what's going on here? Scared hand. Mama chicken defending her brood against a, a zombie pig man. I mean, it's not really, it's a zombie, it's a... Tiny zombie Minecraft guy on top of a pig. Throw some dynamite at him. Just turn him into dust. Turn it in, in, into something delicious. Little pork chop. Chicken's happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. What are we making? Like a like a, a pork, maybe like a pork wrap? I see the lettuce. I really don't know. I don't know. I'm very interested. Butter, we're searing that bad boy. The bone pops right off. 
That's definitely how things work. All right. That, I mean, the instant cook is is very impressive. I, I wish that that is how it it went in real life. Those look great. I am genuinely getting hungry. I love that. I love when the real thing turns into Lego thing. Oh, we're making a sandwich? Maybe, maybe like a pork cutlet sandwich? That goes pretty good. What's a, a, a Cuban? Oh my gosh, Cuban sandwich. So good. So good. Was that butter? Oh. Oh, you're just... Okay. I mean, I bet they're good enough just to eat them like that. But on a sandwich, I'm just saying. With a little hot mustard. Oh no. Blowfish. What is blowfish? It, you can... So you can eat blowfish at, at sushi restaurants. I think, like, only specific ones. Uh, because if the poison from the blowfish is not properly removed, you die. It's like a neurotoxin. It's crazy. I don't know why anyone would actually go for pufferfish. It, it seems just not worth it. There's so many other fish that you can eat at a sushi restaurant that won't kill you. So, you know, I just, yeah, I don't, I don't know about the puffer, puffer fish. I think the, the reason you're doing it is to say you did it. It's, that's it. Like, you ate puffer fish, you didn't die, and you can brag about that for the rest of your life. Yay for you. Anyways, uh, this guy is cooking up some puffer fish, so, um... You know, I hope that he, he filleted it properly. It looked like he did a pretty good job. Also, you know, I mean, it's made out of Lego. Let's not discount that. I love the garlic looked really good. That was like the perfect shape. Look at that. That's like a perfect garlic clove. Okay, we've got the... We've got the... Uh, what, what is it called? Oh my gosh. I know the Japanese term for, for puffer fish. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I don't know why I, I can't remember it. That looks pretty dang good. Would I eat it? No. No, I would not. Not worth it. I'll just have some tuna. Thank you. Dang. He liked that. We're at Burger King. Right? Burger King SpaceX collaboration. <laughs> what is this? We did Burger King build a rocket? The Burger King rocket. It's full of whoppers. You know, I mean, Burger King, for what it is, it's not terrible. Wait, what is that? Wait, we're making a chicken sandwich? From Burger King? Come on. You gotta go whopper. But what I was gonna say is, like, Burger King, for what it is, it's not terrible. It's not my first choice, though, for, for fast food. But sometimes, like, a Whopper is pretty good. It's just a, a very basic burger. Oh, we're making chicken fingers. They do... I remember they had those those chicken fingers that were, like, Cheeto-flavored. I did try them, and I just remember thinking, these don't really taste like they have Cheeto on them. They just... The, the Cheeto flavor didn't really shine through for me. Those don't look bad. That one got a little overcooked. Is that okay? I guess it's okay. I do like that they're like different shades of, of burnt. Okay. It's a, it's a, I want to say that's a burger, but it's a sandwich. A burger sandwich? With spicy chicken fries? I mean, get it. Man, these videos make me so hungry. What's going on here? We got we got fire. Among us. I love that a green Among Us grew a flower out of his head. They are hungry. Feed the Among Us. The imposters. 
feed them. What do they eat? Something with an egg? Okay. Gosh, that looks so good. The Just the way that it cracks in... Oh, man, it's incredible that that's actually Lego. It looks like liquid. What what do you make? Like, uh, um, I don't even know. Like, sugar and egg. And then that's, that's hot milk? Maybe you're making some kind of, uh... Some kind of like, like topping, like almost like a whipped cream. Oh, ice cream, maybe. That's ice cream, right? Then you're, yep, you got to differentiate for each of the imposters, the Among Usites. <laughs> One hour later. Okay. We got popsicles. Incredible. Wait, you got it. Wait. Wait. He didn't make them for the Among Us. He turned the Among Us hmm? into them. <laughs> no, they're still there. They're waiting. He got so distracted he ate it himself. They've died of, of hunger. Only the pink one shall remain. <laughs> it's just so weird. Yeah, he's pretty upset. What's going on here? That machine is is pooping out crabs. Why are those crabs brown? Dang. They really went they really went to town on that uh on that Pepsi. Oh! <laughs> Just knocked him out. That is actually a really cool looking Lego build. Like the way that the, the the arms and everything were, like, articulating and stuff. That's awesome. I wonder if there's an actual, like, giant crab Lego set. Or or the creator of, of these videos had to, like, actually make it from scratch. That's, that's impressive. What is that? What kind of fruit is that? Was that a fig? No, that's not a fig. I don't... Maybe it was a, a passion fruit. I think it may have been a passion fruit. I don't know. I'm not familiar with with too many of these more exotic fruits. Fruits that I'm not too familiar with. What's going on here? We got the, the crab is, is coming to a boil. Now he's nice and red. Wow. Wow. <laughs> does look pretty good. It does look pretty good. We got crab legs not too long ago, and uh, we we made a mistake. I mean, the, they tasted great, but we realized after we cooked them that we don't have any kind of uh, tool for cracking open the the crab shell. Uh, so so I mean, we we figured it out, but it definitely was much harder than it should have been uh, just to eat. That is one of the downsides to crab. Crab is delicious. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I like crab. That said, it's also a very challenging food to eat. It's just difficult. But man, that looks good. I'm like, my... I, it, they're, they're so well made. It literally makes my mouth water. And, and it's crazy that these are Lego. Don't eat the Lego! But I kind of want to... <laughs> Wait, are we cooking shark? No, we're cooking lobster. That is a mean-looking lobster. Straight into the ice. Oh, no. Okay. Boiling water. Oh. Oh, you're just going straight to, to cooking it? Aren't you supposed to, like... You know, just end things quickly for the lobster before you throw it in the, the cooker. Kind of messed up, bro. Seems fine. It's such a cool looking Lego build. Placing it on ice. It's all about the presentation. And you just want the tail. Crunchy. Very crunchy. <laughs> Why do they do that? 
Why why do they give you the part of the of the lobster that you're not going to eat? Like I don't need to I don't need it. It's fine. I know it's a lobster. You don't have to give me his face. So I have to look at his face while I eat it. <laughs> it's messed up. I like living in a world of ignorance, okay? What is this? It, it's like a drink. That's pretty cool. And it has transformed into a much larger drink. A little lemon. A little butter. Some good eating right there. Dang, drink that fast. Lego seafood. Okay. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Maybe just a trout. Just kind of a, a common basic fish. I think I saw, oh my gosh, why the mallet? I think I saw uh, on their channel they had a bluefin tuna, which... As someone who enjoys sushi, uh, bluefin tuna is kind of like, you know, the epitome of, of sushi. The Toro, so good. I kind of want to see that video. Descaling. Man, the, the technique of filleting a fish, I have never done it. And I don't think I ever will because it seems so easy to mess up. And so hard to do right. I just leave it to the professionals. I'll just give me the filleted fish and I'll cook it. But filleting it myself, I just, I can't. Is that rice? Yeah, we're making sushi. I don't know what kind of sushi, but it looks good. Look, the cat's holding up a shrimp. Or we're making a sushi boat. I've been to sushi restaurants a lot. I have never ordered a sushi boat. If you don't, if you're unfamiliar with the sushi boat, it's basically a boat that is loaded with an assortment of different kinds of sushi. And it's a lot. It's a lot of food. I think that's probably why I've never ordered it. Oh, soy sauce. Yeah, of course. Gotta have that dipping. Looks good. Looks pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Oh, man. Dip it in the wasabi. Are the cats dead? <laughs> Why are they just laying there? Maybe they're just disappointed that they don't get to eat it. It's understandable. All right, here we go. I found it. It's called Cutting a Giant Lego Bluefin Tuna for Sashimi. That is a large fish. There's your Bluefin Tuna. I love that the, the little sea bugs have an alarm for bluefin tuna. That is a big boy. Turn him into Toro. I'm so sorry, but you are so delicious. Yeah. Get the sashimi knife. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Nothing goes to waste, though. The cats get the head. Enjoy. Do the cats get the tail? Oh, there goes the bones. That's convenient. No, the little sea bugs get the, the tail. <laughs> okay. Wipe that thing off. Time to fillet. Remove the fins. Yep. There's your blue fin. It's kind of more of a yellow fin, but whatever. And the, the belly, the I mean, most of the bluefin tuna is delicious, but the belly is the actual toro because that's where all the fat is and it's, it's like flavorful. And, oh, yeah, yeah. You don't need anything with it. You just, just that, maybe a little bit of soy sauce, and you are in for a treat. Okay, maybe a little wasabi. I, I respect it. I respect the, the soy sauce wasabi mix. Mm. Good stuff right there. Now I really want sushi. Bro is just out here fishing. Minding his own business. Something terrible is going to happen. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is a massive crocodile. 
if the Lego figure is is it to scale with a human, that crocodile is a dinosaur. Straight up from prehistoric era. And he is terrorizing the kitchen. Wait, are we gonna turn the crocodile into food? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's terrifying. We're gonna turn the crocodile into food, aren't we? Oh no. It's Godzilla. <laughs> no. <laughs> Took him out with a spoon. There you go. All right. Who wants crocodile? Actually, it's funny. About a week ago, um, I had the opportunity to try crocodile jerky. And um, not a huge fan. It was really really salty and I mean part of that is because of the way it was it was made that like I don't think crocodiles are inherently salty uh flavor but it was the yeah it just I don't know it was it was very tough which you kind of expect from jerky um but it was very salty and this guy turned his crocodile into sushi now eating crocodile raw I don't know if that's the best idea but you do you, you know? You do you. What What's going on here? His, oh my gosh, it must be so hot. We need something cold, ice cream. You got ice cream? You got nice, cool, refreshing Pepsi. That was cool. Why is the Pepsi blue? Because it is turning into a Pepsi crab. Of course, of course. You pour a Pepsi on the ground, it turns into a Pepsi crab that can then uh, turn the weather into ice. It's a cold crab, that's why it's blue. <laughs> it's ice flavored. What's well, ice flavored? I, well, water. There goes the legs. So we got blue crab. It's a snow crab. Well, snow crabs aren't blue, but I like the idea of it. Wow. Such skill. Such precision. All right. Bake a crab. Can you bake a crab? I like that. It's just a little button. Crabs have a little button on their nose. It pops up their shell like a trunk. It's a little storage, you know, for their insides. <laughs> That's very upsetting. Our blue crab is no longer blue. It has turned red. And is probably delicious. I It's kind of sad, though. You think about it. Dude summoned the crab to save them from the heat. And then immediately turned the crab that, like, saved them into food. <laughs> That's, you know, not the thanks I think that crab was expecting. And that, that's crab roe? Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't Yummy. think I've ever eaten that. But he's happy with it. Oh, gosh. Taco Bell. Let's finish this off with Taco Tuesday, baby. The dogs, dogs aren't into it? Taco Tuesday, of course, leads to... I was going to say... Toilet Tuesday. But I guess technically it would be Toilet Wednesday. But it doesn't sound as good. So, you know, Taco Tuesday leads to Toilet Tuesday. Just later. <laughs> Gross. Are we making a Choco Taco? It's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Choco Tacos are pretty good. But I think I... I think I heard that they got discontinued, so you can't actually get them anymore. Oh, no, we're making, like, some kind of banana split. You didn't even peel the banana. Incredible. Tell me those are strawberries and not peppers. Yeah, those are strawberries. <laughs> okay. Yum. Okay, those are blueberries. So, the Chicago deep dish style pizza that we had earlier had blueberries on it. That's weird. 
Also, uh, Taco Bell, not well known for uh, for Cheeto, which is kind of genius, but they are known for the Doritos taco shell, which are, I'm not going to lie, very good. Gosh, I got to go eat something now. I'm so hungry.